Hello there, planner friends. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I'm so excited that the weather is starting to warm up and feel like summertime here in Georgia and um, everything's green and the kids are out of school. Well, the college kids are out of school, um, which is what I have. <laughs> the rest of the kids are still in school for another few weeks. But anyway, it just feels like summer is here. And um, I didn't used to be a summer fan, but the older I get, the more I seem to like summer. I think it's because the pace is a little slower and um, the weather's warmer, my toes finally stop freezing, and I don't know, it's just something that I look forward to now where I didn't used to when I was younger. And um, one of the things that I have noticed is a pattern with me is that when summer comes, I tend to downsize in my planner, which is why you see what you see here. So if you've been following along with my planner uh, channel for a while, you'll know that Matilda is my ride or die and a personal size ring planner. This is this is pretty much what I use. I may dally with other planners, but I always seem to come back to Matilda. Um, and this is Matilda's baby sister. Now, you, if you saw my last video, or maybe it was the video before, where I was talking about A6 rings, and we talked about the fact that I needed to come up with a name for the A6 ring planner. Um, that didn't last very long. I think I used my A6 rings for about two weeks, for some reason, I just wanted Matilda. I just wanted to go back to the personal size. And so I did. I just, the beauty of rings and the beauty of the fact that I have a well-established planner system is that I can do that. I can go from personal size to A6 size to pocket to even A5 if I wanted to because I pretty much do the same thing regardless of the planner that I'm in. My system stays the same. So anyway i moved right back into matilda i've been have been using matilda for a couple of weeks and something came over me in the last week and i just decided i wanted to downsize i wanted to go into pocket so i have a, a few pocket mo terms and i use pocket plus so i take my a6 inserts and i print them at 86 percent which gives me pocket plus and I can use it in a pocket planner and um, have the smaller footprint, but have the um, ratios of an A6 size planner. So it's not, you know, the tall skinny kind of thing. And it's also not the minuscule page that a true pocket would be. So that's what you're gonna see here. And I thought I would just show you how I have this set up and how it's easy for me to make the move through the different sizes because I keep my system the same. So. This is a Moterm in taupe. Um, it has 25 millimeter rings and I am going to try really hard to stay with the 25 millimeter rings and not go any bigger because I like the smaller footprint and I like the fact that I can drop this in my purse when I'm out and about and on the go and I have everything that I need in here. Um, the setup in here is almost identical to the setup in Matilda and in the A6 rings, it's just in a smaller package. So without further ado, let's dive in. So I have my Coco Daisy kits, which if you are not a Coco Daisy kit subscriber and you like to have pretty planner stuff, um, I can't recommend Christine's stuff enough. They're so well done. And I love the fact that the um, pages, the inserts, the decorations, everything is seasonal and um, well, it still has global appeal. I will say that if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, it's not like you're gonna get a winter kit in December that you can't use when it's your summertime. Um, but to me, they are appropriate. And, and like, for example, the month of May, everything is green and luscious. And I think she called this month's kit Lillian's Garden and Lillian is her mother. And so it's all got that garden kind of look and feel, which, with everything greening up and looking pretty here in the south, um, it, it's nice to have that in my planner and to look at. So I took some of the pieces of the kit and, and put it in here. And that's what I was getting ready to say. The nice thing about these kits is I have been able to decorate my personal rings, my ASICS rings, and my pocket rings with stuff from the kit for the month and and still have things left over. Now, I subscribe to the planner kit, the dashboards kit, and um, 
the the uh, Weeks sticker kits. So it's I mean it's more than one kit, but the 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 amount of stuff that you get in the kit is generous enough that you can stretch it across multiple. And and I have yet in all the years I have subscribed to Coco Daisy, I have yet to use up every single item in my kit. Partly because I'm a hoarder and I want just the right use of something and partly because it's just such a generous kit and um, in, in the things that you get. So anyway, that's what you're gonna see. Most of the decoration in here is from that Coco Daisy kit. So I've just got um, a little um, dashboard paper here just to kind of have a pretty front. I have um, just some other random cards. This is from an old Coco Daisy kit. And then I've got, this section is called shopping and I've just got some blank paper, random papers here for shopping list and to-do lists and things like that. And then I go right into my calendars. So um, I'll just show you this, how I've got this set up. So it's the DIY fish insert. Again, I have not decorated the monthlies in here because I literally just set this up over the weekend and I'm kind of liking the simpleness of it. So I may or may not go back and do some decorating. And if I do, I'm probably gonna be just really um, basic with what I do, like maybe some washi tape, you know, stripped down the side here or something to have a little pop of color for the month. But um, I did back plan the rest of the year, just, you know, put the big events in here. So I had them, but no color coding. It's just all pen and very basic for right now. Um, these dashboards uh, that you see here are from Cloth and Paper. I bought the, I think it was A6 size, and cut them down to Pocket Plus so that I had them because I had um, them in my personal rings and in my A6 rings and I really liked them so I bought them and just trimmed them to fit the Pocket Plus size. Then moving into um, May, again, I just took some of the Coco Daisy paper and a tab to make a divider here. My to-do list, you'll uh, recognize this is the same paper that I cut down to fit in my personal rings and I did the same thing here and um, just stuck it on here and here's my tracker, which I'm <laughs> not doing a very good job of using and I really don't, I'm not worried about it. It, it is what it is. Um, I started out with good intentions, but right now it's just not a priority for me and that's okay. So then the rest of this is my DIY fish inserts, just like I do in my personal rings and in my A6 rings, I put the piece of washi on the weekly view so that it's easy for me to see the weeks at a glance in here because they're all with the washi and I have the days in between. So it's a week and then the seven days and then a week and then seven days. So this is last week and I'm doing the same thing same thing that I had in Matilda and in the A6 rings. So I've got my weather and pollen up here. I've got what we had for dinner. This is all time bound appointment stuff. This is my to-do list, my tracker, which I am doing good here. Um, and maybe that's the secret is I just need to track the weekly and not worry about the monthly view. At the bottom, I've got TV shows, books, um, and our menu for the week. And then my daily is just the same kind of, um, journal type of thing that I do, bullet journal type of thing that I do, do in Matilda. It's the exact same pages, exact same thing. So time bound stuff at the top, to do's at the bottom, note stuff in the middle, TV and dinner at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's my, the last week. How many of you guys watched the coronation? I made my husband watch it with me on Saturday. Um, it was, it was very interesting. I have lots of thoughts, but that's a story for another day. So for this week, the current week that we're in, I decided to try putting my tracker on this page because this is the front of the weekly view and this page is always empty anyway. And I just thought maybe I would try putting it here and seeing if there were other things that I wanted to add to track on this page. And you can see I've done a marvelous job. It's Wednesday and I haven't checked a single thing off. So apparently if it's not right in my face over here, I'm not gonna remember to do it lesson learned. So here is my view this week. I am decorating this side of the page just a little bit with a swath of um, washi tape to correspond to what's here. This is actually from another Coco Daisy kit from a previous year, but the colors matched very closely. So I borrowed some stickers from that. That was a kit that I hadn't finished using. And then I'm just making all my notes here and post-it notes and um, 
and highlighting. I decided to try using a highlighter to highlight the time bound things. And then I was, uh, Monday I was crossing off my things that I had completed in blue because I had a long to-do list and it was easier for me to see. Um, but that means that I have to have my highlighter with me and that's just one more thing to keep up with. So that probably won't stay. Um, here's today and I, th this is one of the post-it notes that's in the Coco Daisy kit. I love these skinny post-it notes because I love being able to stick them on my today marker. Um, my only wish, Christine and anybody on the Coco Daisy team, if you happen to watch this, I wish that they didn't have a header. I wish that it was just a blank grid paper with a design to correspond that I could make it whatever I needed to or wanted to for the month. Sometimes she's got something here about a menu plan or a to-do list or spring last month I think was spring cleaning or whatever. It'd just be nice to me if it was just a blank almost like the note paper where you could make it whatever you wanted um, because I think I would use more of them. But what I've decided to do is just ignore that and um, try to make use of them because I do really like the fact that they fit, especially in the pocket size, very nicely on my Today divider. Um, so I've got the rest of the month in here and we'll use this. I'm planning to use this through the month of May. I did slit my pages because in the pocket size, sometimes it's hard to write against the rings, especially if you're writing on this side of the page. And so this makes it easier um, with the smaller paper to just pull it out, make your, um, make your notes and then pop it back in without having to open the rings every time. Um, so yeah, that is my setup in the planner part. The rest of this is pretty much the same as what I have in my other rings. So the first section is um, my stuff. So I've got um, like my notes in here about uh, YouTube video ideas, my TV tracker, movie tracker, um, passwords, uh, medical information, all that kind of stuff, random notes, whatever that's specific to me. Um, this actually should be at the bottom here. You can see me is backwards, um, but I wanted it to be at the top, so I just flipped it. I don't care. I know it's for me. Um, the next section is my family section, and so this is a dashboard that I cut down. It was a personal size dashboard that I cut down from the Coco Daisy kit and stuck in here. I thought that was um, very appropriate for my family section. And in here I have information about like mailing address for my kids, medical information for my husband, um, tracking my um, daughter's college uh, payments, tuition payments, things like that. Um, all that kind of stuff related to the three of them is in here. Also, I've got some post-it tabs up here at the top. You'll see this one's my husband, this one's about our house, and this one is related to the kids. So I can just very quickly flip to those pages um, to access what's there. So I'm not gonna show you the husband and the kids stuff, but he here in the house I have, this is actually old, but I left it in here because I wanted to recreate it for 2023. This was, you know, that when did I last do kind of thing so that's there and then other things is just mostly on just plain grid paper that I cut out of a notebook that I'm no longer using and I just cut it down and punched it to fit so I can write whatever I need then my last section is my finance section or my next to the last section is my finance section and that's where I've got my bill tracking which I'm not going to show you but I do use peanuts planner co um, inserts in here and I have the whole year um, printed out that have this this is the version that I use and I just write all of my bills here and uh, when they were paid and how much you know pretty standard stuff and then the very last section last but not least is just a note section and I've just got some random grid paper in a place to jot notes and um, I've got a pretty generous amount of paper here just because um, the fact that I have this pocket planner with me more than I do the larger notebooks, the larger planners, uh, means that I tend to pull it out and jot notes, you know, in the car or whatever. And then I've got a piece of um, lamination with a sticker in the middle that I created. It's got lots of bubbles, but I don't care. It's in the back of the planner. It doesn't bother me. And a page lifter that I think maybe Foxy Fix? I don't remember. This actually somebody gave me in a planner that I bought in a buy-sell trade group, and I'm so excited and happy that I have it. And um, nothing really back here other than some extra note paper. And then in the back back here, just some things that I need to keep handy. And then as always in the front zipper pocket, I have stamps. 
um, that's where I keep my stamps and that's pretty much it so I think this is going to be the planner at least for the month of May maybe for the summer Matilda is never far behind or, or far away she's always very close and it's very it would be very easy for me to jump back into Matilda because it would just be a matter of updating um, you know a few days worth if, if I chose to do that and make sure that the monthlies are synced but you know in terms of a carry um, the smaller is much much more concise and an easier carry um, especially when you're on the go and things like that so probably will stay in this taupe for a while my daughter told me that she felt like it was a good summer color I agree um, although I do have a Moterm Veg Tan that I ordered so when that comes I'll, I may swap over to that we'll see and um, yeah that's my setup for right now probably will be in this for the rest of May let me know have you made any changes to your planner since the beginning of May we're only on what May the 10th and I've already changed my planner setup so um, yeah but I will say this in my defense I have not bought any of the spring release planners so I'm really proud of myself from that perspective I didn't buy um, any of the um, other planners that like the Erin Condren or anything like that even though I have been tempted and I have looked um, I've actually been able to fulfill that by buying my daughter her she's an Erin Condren user my oldest and so her planner runs on the academic year and so she said, Mom, my planner is almost done. And I said, oh, good. Let's go look on the Erin Condren website together and I'll buy you a new planner. And so then I got to look and have fun and help her pick things out and plan out her cover and all that kind of stuff. But I didn't disrupt my planning system. Rings are what work for me. Rings is where I'm going to try to stay. I may play in the other bound books that I have, but really and truly this is the thing that makes me happiest and feel like I have everything in control and um, sorted and organized so that's it all I have to share with you today let me know like I said if you've made any changes two weeks into the month or if you're still sticking true to what you've started out the month of May with do you change your planner when the weather gets warm um, or do you pretty much stick with the planner you started the year with I'd be very interested to know that as well take care everybody bye-bye